Okay, so I was talking about positives and negatives. The uh, Boys and Girls Club of Alpena, they said they are the positive place for kids. That would make other places the negative places for kids. Um, why not look at everything as positive? No, you have to say that places where kids are killing other kids or places where kids are killing themselves are negative, right? Of course you would, and what all fits into that category? Well, you know, it depends on how far you want to go. Do you want to say that Tommy, who's sitting around playing video games, is bad? Well, then go to the Boys and Girls Club. Do you want to say that Sandy, who's sitting around eating gummy bears all day and watching TV, is that bad? Albert C. Fowler, Apartments, 525 River, I guess. Albert, that's the apartment building that I was talking about in the last building. In the last building. Last video. Yeah, man. Why? Why do that? How about this? I'm the positive person. What am I implying by that? What if I said I'm the most positive person? Just consider what that it implies by saying that. Do I feel like the most positive person? Yeah, I do. I am the most positive person. I don't know many people who are actually positive about the end of time. Given as positive as you can be about everything. See the sun? You got a nice wreath, nice bulbs. Those bulbs. Look at that window up there. Blue and white. So I'm working my way towards uh where's John boys? I'm just gonna record tonight until the freaking battery runs dry. And then I'm gonna upload this. All of it. And fuck myself. Because I know exactly what's going to happen. But you know what? I'm going to keep the videos that I upload that fuck me. <laughs> Don't think they'll be gone. I may upload them elsewhere. It's really a big deal. I mean, it was shit compared to the, the reasons I'm going to get in trouble uploading it but we'll see I'll test test the waters I'll test the waters folks look at that Superman sign that's fucking brilliant that is beautiful do you see it which it looks like shit in this people are going to be pissed that I walk on their property but just look at this Superman sign oh it looks like shit Looks like shit. I don't know. Fuck you, terrible person. Fuck you. Piece of shit. <laughs> I was just thinking about that conversation in the bar. Bob was kind of a dick. You know, why cut a person off just because of that? That means, like, that one little piece of information is enough justification. Sabotage. A friendship. Even though we're not friends. Bob's a fucking spoiled brat. The shitty uh, artwork. That's no, not shitty. It's not that bad. Whatever. He's another human being. It's just terrible, people. It is so... What's the thing? It's so iconic. It's so... Oh, I 
representative of our time, of our thought, of our approach to each other, to the world, to the corpse, to the people that feed us. I mean, like, if I fuck it, seriously. We were fucking slaves. We were fucking slaves. A bunch of fucking prisoners. This is this is a good analogy for me. I've been in many jails. Okay. Prisoners look forward to their meals. Sometimes they are given schedules, calendars, you know. They come up with sometimes they make them themselves. And they get an idea of the ro- rotation that uh, they give, you know, Salisbury steak or fucking hot dogs or you know, whatever, some kind of stew, this stew, that stew, whatever, fucking taco night, burrito night. So if somebody didn't know burrito night was coming and you were like, yeah, we're going to get burritos. And they got pissed. They're like, dude, you fucking spoiled it for me. You fucking spoiled burrito night for me. You disgusting piece of shit. Is that really? Is that really worth getting upset about? No. What the fuck? Like a good thing. You don't want to know a good thing. Thing until it's official, like you see it, like people are preparing for it. We're gonna unveil it. Well, don't worry, I've already been behind the veil, I already know. No, you're ruining it for me. You're fucking ruining it for me. You're ruining the veil. You're ruining the veil? Is that what we want? We want veils? We want to not know. Fuck that, man. Fucking the encouragement of veils. That's that's what I'm settling. Fuck the encouragement of veils. It's official. Fuck the encouragement of veils. Fuck people who want to veil other people. And create veils. Fuck the veilers. Are you a veiler? Fuck you. Veiler. That might be Bobby. Is it Bobby? Hi. Can I take a menu? Well, no, you can't take that one with you and leave with it, but you can go take it and look at it. Okay. I'm going to sit over there somewhere. I'll let you know I decided. All right. So, I'm just like spreading out. Everybody else. A gentleman there, a smaller gentleman up there. Two, Terry, regular, Bobby, working behind the counter. Gentleman drinking his coffee. Um, gentleman in the corner. Anyway. Much better lighting in here, huh? Pretty sweet. I want to make yourself look a little pretty. I know too. Stack deli sandwiches with cheese. Hot dogs. Chili hot dogs. Maybe I should try that. Chili cheese and jalapenos. I have chili cheese and jalapenos. That's what I usually get at 7-Eleven. I don't know if I've ever recorded going there before. I go there in my entire lifetime. I've probably been there um, about 500 times at 7-Eleven here in Alpena. At least. Somewhere between 500 and 1,000. And most of those times, 
Yeah, more than half. I've got the uh, big bite, quarter, quarter pounder, uh, regular big bite, with chili cheese, and extra jalapenos. And it's really good. Really, really I got a, I got a warning. I got a warning. I think the battery is getting low, so might have to be short. I'm not ordering my food. I'll bring it with me. Why not? Can I get a hot dog with chili cheese Probably not. and what? We don't have hot dogs like that. I know it's in the menu, but where the hell was it? It's on that stage down there. I know what it says. It also says we don't serve these past 10 p.m. and we do. You don't have hot dogs. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. You don't know? That's yes. Please. If we do, they're probably frozen. Well, we need to eat them. That's what you do. You eat food. People can eat it. Sure. So yes. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I heard it. I saw him say it. Damn it. Ugh. Um, Damn it. We don't sell that on the menu. What? We don't sell that on the menu here. So what? Damn it. Are you being smart with me? Are you? Someone has to. You know how boring my night's been? No, I don't. I'm glad I don't know how boring my night's been. It's been boring, so I have to mess with somebody. I'm glad. You can mess with me. Be there it is, hot dog. Add chili, I know, one dollar. On That's false advertising. I'm suing. Hey, there's a lot of shit false advertising, okay? <laughs> the, the other Every woman that works here. If you find God, your life will be better, and I haven't noticed that please, yet. So please, please really don't bring up false that advertising stuff. There, please, please. <laughs> so breakfast. Take these and you'll be skinny. That's false advertising. Oh, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> you gotta follow their orders. They're recommended guidelines. Oh, you have to do exactly what they want. Um, do you still do breakfast right now? Like, what if I wanted a dozen eggs or something? You do that? Like uh, raw dozen eggs? No, well, not raw. Hey, like, I had a lady earlier ordered a quarter pound hamburger and didn't want the burger fried. She wanted it sent raw. She wanted to cook it herself. So I mean. Sometimes okay. the crap that comes out of my mouth is like warning labels. It sounds ridiculous, but it's there for a reason. I mean, how disturbing is it that the warning label on a curling iron says do not insert the orifices? Right? Right. <laughs> well, if I wanted eggs, I could get eggs right now. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Spaghetti. Oh my goodness. I gotta find something reasonable. Mm. Even the grilled cheese is pretty freaking expensive. Mm -hmm. Isn't special right now? No special here. Between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. What, spe <laughs> what special do you have at 7 a.m.? Whatever the waitress that comes in behind me decides to make for breakfast that morning. I don't have nothing to do with the specials. Nope. Those change daily. You put them Lunch over and there. Dinner. They do, yeah. Yep, that's why I like my shift. I don't have no specials, no nothing like that. I don't have um, soups, I don't have salad bars, I don't have buffet tables, so I don't have to keep track of any of yeah, that. Yeah. I get you. I just get drunk some stuff. Yep, like me right now. Um, can I get, yeah, yeah. Ah. 
hate being poor and I hate inflation. I feel your pain, says the single mother of three kids, that's the waitress. I know, I know. I know. It's detailed. And it's Christmas time, we can go out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to turn on. I'm going to turn on. Hot dog. I know, but you know, I'm still going to show you all your change back before I keep my dollar. Hey, Terry. Oh, well, apparently I can't add. You <laughs> need both. Terry, not 955. Apparently, I can't add today. Yeah, I thought it was kind of expensive. I'm sorry. Well, I, I came, well, the other night I came in here, I paid two bills. Yeah, I know that was me. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay, the bill change back from 1180. Yeah, those other ones are all taken care of, Sarah. Okay. I probably the only thing I have. Not very well lit. I'm not gonna do this at all. Myself, you know, in the future. Look at this. Omelets. Cheese omelet. Well, I hate to leave you. Yeah. <laughs> I probably should. I think I will. Alright, Terrell. Get home safely. I don't want to walk home in the morning and find you pass that on the railroad track. Yeah, I probably should go. Yeah. Yeah. Ribs. I love you, I love you. Love you a long time too, Terrell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Full metal jacket. Two live crew. Me so hard. Like you could do ribs right now? Barbecue ribs? Pretty freaking expensive, but um, I'd like to try that. A half a rack of ribs. What is it? Does that include other things? Yes, please. Oh my goodness. $13. It's better. Like a salad, a potato, or something like that? What, what else? What are my options? Potato. Like fries, baked potato. It could potato. be baked potato, mashed potatoes, um, <coughs> French fries, curly fries, hash browns, American fries, potato. Wait, French fries and American fries? Same thing, right? What's the French difference? fries, deep fried, American fries, fried potatoes. American like fries, wedges, ones. potato wedges kind of American fries? Roughly. Um, baked potato sounds good, but uh, let's let's go with um, the curry. Mashed and gravy. Mashed potatoes and gravy sounds pretty good. Uh, I like a cur curly fries with ketchup. It sounds appealing. Uh, 
and cottage cheese or coleslaw. Uh, that's all I get there. Uh, yeah. I had a really good talk with my uncle. Oh, we, we have a house salad made up, so you can get a house salad. Either a cottage cheese, coleslaw, or a house salad. But you say no house salad? <laughs> or a house salad. Pick one. What's a house salad? Normally it's just lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and cheese, but yeah. I don't good. make them up, so. Oh my goodness. This one looks like it's got onions in it. That yeah. looks good. I'll take that. Yeah, so it's lettuce, tomato. House salad. Yeah. Let's do that. I wonder how long that's been sitting there. They're made when the salad bar goes down at 8 o'clock at night From for my shift because I, we don't use the salad bar on my shift. So they take some of the leftover lettuce instead of just leaving it in a bowl till tomorrow because it'll wilt and get gross in the walk-in. They use the leftover lettuce mix to make up a couple house, house salads and put them in the freezer raider until I need them, if I need them. If not, they throw them out at 7 in the morning. Okay, we'll try that. So yeah, it's only been in there since 8. And then the person that worked is kind of slower, so it's probably been here since about what nine always, o'clock. What always concerns me about things that are being left out or anybody passing by that may be exhaling and, you know, bacteria exactly growing or anything. I make my coffee the way I do and refuse to use those filters that are pre-made sitting there all day that collects dust, germs from people walking in, coughing. I'm not so worried about the coffee, but I am worried about... Oh, yeah. Cheese. Um, no, it's in the refrigerator. Right, it should be fine. And it's saran wrap. Yeah. And it would be the stuff on the bottom of the bowl. Because it's what's left. <laughs> anyway. And it's like ice cream. Yeah. Um, I like kind of dressing. I like the other things. Um, but I'll go with that. Uh, I generally go to French, but what are your options? French, ranch. Blue cheese, Italian. That's good. I think that's it. I think we have a sweet onion, but I'm not sure. I've never tried that before. Honey mustard. Mm. Mm. Do you think you have a sweet onion? I can check. I, I've never had sweet onion. I think that guy wants to talk to you. Yeah, you can for your order. <laughs> um, I'll go look in the walk-in and see if we have it. Okay. If not, uh, we'll go with, like, French. Okay. Just prime, yeah, half, half. The rest, he doesn't have to, oh, you will have to worry about the potatoes. Anything else? He does, I don't. It comes with vegetables, mixed veggies, and What's the garlic mix? toast. What's the mixed veggies? I'm not sure what it is. It's either like California blend, which would be, like, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots, or sometimes it would just be broccoli and cauliflower mixed. I'm not sure. Okay. I just know it's vegetables. Okay. That's not normally a dish that gets ordered too much on my shift, so I, nothing actually that comes with veggies works. 